part first for room only buttons. So basically, all you have to do in this fight is you use charge, and this is easy. But I don't like this boss. This boss is horrible. Like this is literally the most RNG based boss in the game. So first you have to destroy like uh, this this police guard, which isn't even that good. And then the actual B comes finally. Oh my god. And then. Uh, one attack's really easy, one attack's really just fucking bullshit, but, um, the triangle, I, I think, is just the most annoying one. And then, uh, she moves her head in a weird way and makes a really easy attack, for some reason. It looks hard, but all you have to do is just you jump up and then duck down. That's pretty easy, like, and then, for that attack, you just use shit, so it's not that bad. And then... Uh, and then the and then the final phase come, which is absolute fucking bullshit. But whatever. So here I use my super at start, <coughs> and then I I die. Yeah, that's what happens. Cause I didn't know what was happening, so I just kind of died. And then yep. And then I finally beat it, but yeah, I don't like this boss. <laughs> this boss is bad. Easy fight, man. Like so easy. Oh my god. Like so bad. Alright, now this boss is just absolute chaos, like absolute chaos, I'm not even joking, this, this boss is just mad. So first, you've got a barrel, that every time it goes above you, it drops down, so you have to watch out for that. And then next, he's got this massive fish that he's choking, and he lets out projectiles which is kind of mad and then he calls in some oh, random reinforcement yeah. because he's too shit to do the job himself like uh, example there that's a shark and i died like so many times it was so annoying man like i'm not even joking like yeah we got the octopus there which just screws over your vision and then the last ship no. phase which is just absolutely bullshit where it shoots out this massive laser and this just it's just I've annoying, and uh, ah, yeah, the barrel cool. still wants to fucking still wants to mess with you as well. Yes, and oh and that's it. Thank God I beat this boss Thank because God this boss was like one of the worst. But not in like quality, but still. Oh. B minus. So, I'm gonna try to use charge. Charge, coin, let's go. Oh my. Okay, um, wait, is this thing tanky? Oh, it is. I think I have to warn you that all of you have to warn Okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> He's a falling parry! What? If I just go off. Oh! I didn't see that! No! <laughs> Alright, no problem at all. Like, look at me go. Even though I got hit, but you know what? We take those wins and we're fine. Oh my god, oh my god. And now we can do the mausoleum so we can just get that done. Okay, I already failed. Thank God! What am I meant to do? Oh my God! Oh my God! That was so bad. That was so unfair. That was the most unfair thing I've ever done. That was just a better approach. I'm not. Now for my guy Werner, a proper sick boss. I, I I accidentally restarted. That's why I cut it right there. But all Werner is is just okay, a World War One rat just based off of like weaponry and he built this like parry. i don't know how we he's invented so many things oh, like man's done more than the whole entire like government 
but I don't know. He's he's oh a sick boss. Look at him go. <laughs> but anyway, this first phase is pretty easy. You just have to avoid the bombs like flames that it shoots out after it uh, lands. And the bombs hit you on contact, so just avoid the bombs. And then for the second phase, it's probably the hardest phase, I'm not gonna lie. He has these like razor blade oh, wait, bottle caps. So and you just yeah, avoid them was... and you don't wanna be in the same level as Bloom, otherwise you will get sizzled to death by his flame throw. Alright, well as soon as you get into his third phase, right, he gets right. eaten by back of cat, you see right there. God, and then his this phase is just not that bad, I just Whoa. didn't really understand the mechanics Gosh. of this part, so I just died a lot. Yep, these yeah. ghosts come, uh, and super, if super, you can super. kill them, but when they shoot their parryable balls, you always you always want to parry them, because the they do the same thing as the bombs, yeah. they hit you, and they kill you. And then yeah, he has like cheese-shaped wood that he, that he fires down, but... What? To do. That's that's pretty much it. Yes, and yes, it was him I mean, the whole time. I, I told you this, this guy, guy is just a bit of a mad one. Like the only attempt that I didn't get any parries because I come oh my god. Whatever, we we be the boss. B minus, I don't care. Dramatic fanatic. Come on. Come on. Sally stage. Now for Sally stage play, I'm just gonna tell you how this goes in short so phase one easy phase two okay, for some okay. reason really hard i don't know why phase three also easy phase four freest part in the boss fight so this is phase one she just kind of teleports around and you just dodge her like stick and umbrella and in the background there's a chapel or a church or i don't know but okay, second, that's second basically it for stage one. Yep. Not much really going on. And then yeah, she right, no, pulls down the safety curtain and then phase two, which is for some reason just really hard because there's there's a baby and you have to avoid these like toy cars and her. So there's three things you just gotta look out for and it's just really hard for some reason. But I got past it, you know, all it just took a bit of time to just die a bit, and then after that, I just thought, ah, fuck it, I'm just gonna sleep, but, and then I beat it. Well, not beat the boss, but beat phase two. And now for phase three, like, it's easy, easy, like, just destroy the meteor, and then, and then this parable star comes about, and you can just, like, just jump over it, and lightning is just easy, I don't know why. Okay. It literally has three attacks. Reactive. Well, two Reactive. because Reactive. Meteor is maybe an attack, but Meteor it don't matter. It. it has two attacks, two two full attacks, and she doesn't do anything. Just she just sits there. And then it's so easy. Maybe. Like I don't know, I, I don't Parry. know why, but it's just easy. And phase four is just free, That's free. This. It's so much easier. There's one. There's literally, basically only one attack. And it's the umbrella. The roses okay. barely come about, um, and it only takes about uh, four cycle, five cycles, five yes. cycles of the umbrella easy to boss. kill her Bro, with Jason. I literally, I literally really easy boss. Off blind. The whole, oh, man, you just don't know me, man. You don't know me like that. Oh, grid B minus. Yeah, man. But it's anything like that other running gun. Though. I'm not even scared, to be honest. I'm not even worried. I'd just be annoyed if I fail again. See, if I'd won HP, that would be mad. Oh my god, so annoying man. So for the doctor calls the robot, I'm really not gonna show you all the deaths because this video will just be hours long. But all I'm saying is first you shoot the gut, then the heart, then the antenna.
and that's it. You just, and then the, the rest of it um, is just self-explanatory. You shoot the bombs to destroy them, or collide them with other bombs. You avoid the antenna, lasers, and then you avoid the heart, and then you parry the heart's laser things. Or the barricade laser things, I don't really know what to call them. But that's basically it for this first phase. So once we get into the second phase, where the where the heart is exposed, you just shoot the heart, that's it, while destroying the shotgun that the antenna has now turned into. You shoot the bombs that the gut has now been shooting. I've seen this video and the heart will do it. I don't think. Really Unless it's part of that hand thing I mean, or the magnets that, that happen that, that come. But that's for a different story. Now once you destroy this, it gives you a bit of a break. I think. Unless you don't destroy all the bombs, then they'll, they'll, they'll just follow you for the rest of the fight. Before you even shoot them. They just last forever, I swear. And this is what um, made me take a hard damage in this phase 3 yeah, fight. And I died. So that's just annoying. And then I died again because this phase is just kind of bullet hell and it obscures yeah, your yeah, vision yeah. because of the junkyard parts that appear in the foreground. So that's kind of annoying. But it's literally just moving up and down. Finally, oh and then you can be it. Finally. This boss took hours. And why is he naked? I don't know. Come on. Speed on. Speed on. Wow, I don't care anymore. I don't want to. Carla is an interesting one. The thing about this is, this is a plain fight, but I don't feel like this boss belongs in World 3 because it's so easy, like, it looks hard but it really just isn't, and it and it took me 2 attempts, and all the other ones have taken me about like 10 attempts at minimum, so that's just a bit weird. Yeah, for this first phase, the the ghosts the ghosts are really the only hard thing and all you really do is just go up and down for them because they all just charge at the same spot and then she goes on the wall and gets these fishies which have a very predictable pattern and will jump at you which you just have to stay at the back of the screen the only problem i have with this boss is how long it takes it takes so long to do and, and and this combo right here that that's literally being shown is the worst combo of attacks it could ever use. Next, it gets attacked by electric eels, turns into Medusa, and just really doesn't give you a good time. It turns you to stone, which I didn't know. And then the eels fire out some bullets that are, are really not that hard to avoid. Then it turns you into Medusa again, and it's kind of unfair at some times. But I just learn if you stay up here. Then, then it, it can't turn you into stone, so that's kind of good. The eels can be killed, but I, I only just noticed now once I killed one. And then here, then the last phase is just the most unfair phase I've ever seen. Like, have you, have you seen that hit right there? It just really doesn't give you a good time, and I died. But we were, we were close on the very first attempt, which gave me a bit of a motivation. So now, um, yeah, that's all I really have to say. I'm gonna cut this recording early because this, this isn't hard. Why about this killer? Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god! I got a parry in there as well because that is spawning. Never ever do that was pain, that was literal pain. Okay, I cannot describe to you my hatred for this boss. This boss is so annoying to play because half of the time, half of your deaths aren't your fault. But whatever, I don't want to explain to you how many deaths this 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 had. Um, it's pretty it's pretty annoying. And this is just not a, a good boss. Well, it is, but like if it if it's unfair, then I I really just don't don't like it. 
But luckily, for half the face, you can literally just say the edge of your car thing. So I guess that was pretty fun. To just absolutely destroy Sans the skeleton. Right, yeah. Yep. So, that, so that's literally all I can say for this. I don't, I don't know what you want me to really say for this. You just stay at the edge of your car and just you chase it. It just makes it really easy. And this just that's it. That's literally all you have to do for this for this for this part. And then finally, when you beat this part, then you can finally just start this. Oh, this is so annoying. I. Right. Finally, you can get to this part, which is my least favorite part, because it's so easy, yet so annoying at the same time. So at the start, you can just use your super to just deal damage to both, and then it's pretty easy because both of them have like no health. But the thing is, then like ghost things, my chaser just isn't annoyed by them and doesn't want to kill them. So half of the time, I kept taking hits that I shouldn't have been taking. Because this guy just kept moving my car along. And then for this final phase, like, short central right here, I'm not even joking, man. Like, this part right here is the most, um, like, short central part I've ever played in a boss fight. It's not even hard, that's why it's so annoying to die here, because you don't really notice anything from this. You just avoid the, avoid the bone rings and everything. But the thing is, you can't see them, so I died here again, and now I died at some random part here, and then I died here again, and then finally I got to this bit again, and then I actually beat it because I had enough HP to beat it. I don't know, I'm commenting for really long, it's just to fill in the gaps of this boring gameplay. And then finally, when you do this boss, you enter ink. Well, I'm, I, I hate this boss, I hate this, I, I don't, this boss is bad, I, that's all I'm saying man, this boss is just so bad, like, oh my god, I mean, give me a C or something, I don't even care at this point man, yeah, C plus, I don't care.